about this. You got this. You are strong. Your body was created for this moment. Baby will be here soon. This new life in the world wipes out memory of the pain. The sadness you have right now is similar to that pain, but the coming joy is also similar. The baby's not here yet, but we don't like our nurse. Um, she's a bit annoying. And she can hear everything. It's weird. But uh, she's doing good. She's four centimeter dilator right now. Uh, earlier she was one centimeter, so I mean, the baby's coming in tonight. Just told us that in 20 minutes we will have a new place that we're going to be getting the baby out. Uh, she's contracting every she she two minutes or so. So, good job, Mom. My love, where she is basically numbed from the bottom down, but uh, takes time to work through it, so she feels a little bit of pain still. Um, but as soon as it hits up here, she might take a nap. Good job, Mama. You did so good at the epidural. So good. I felt so bad for you at first. I was going to cry. But I was like, she got this. I'm going to believe in you. Lord. Thank you, Lord. This is a, this is it's okay. Pregnancy. It's okay, Mama. Johnny, he's, he's with God you. Is God is good, Mama. Good job. I just know this is a lot easier than I could have been. Yes. You love you okay? Yeah, me too. Thank you. It's so pretty, by the way. Look at her, guys. Do I look okay? She look amazing. <laughs> you don't look like you're pregnant. Baby coming out soon, okay? Oof, excuse me. More water? Thank you. You're welcome, Mom.
Praise the Lord Jesus. So, peace, joy, love. That's what got me through this. Love because irritation has been trying to come with certain nurses, um, but that was stressing me out, like my body, so I had to, you know, love it should have brought up my heart and remind myself. And then peace, my mind, peace of mind, sound mind, so I don't, you know, freak out and joy in my strength. So it got me through the contractions a lot. Laughter helped a lot in the beginning. Um, but praise the Lord, I feel like, like it would, like contractions are hard, but it was not as hard as I feel like it would have been if I didn't have like faith, you know? It was not that bad. And then the epidural, I prayed and then I, I, it was so easy to do. I, that was the thing I was scared of because people talk about it so badly. Like people are so scared of it, you know? Like this is, they're like, it's this giant needle and this and this. So I was, I had to like cast down all that fear to do it. And it, they did it. They said it was like really easy to do. Praise the Lord. Um, but yeah, I don't know how people do this without God because it would be hard to only depend on yourself or even depend on your person because it's like, you know, they can they can encourage you. Like your comfort helps a lot. It really brings me peace. Like, it's crazy. Like when you hug me, it's just like, like I get a lot of peace from it, um, which helps my body relax. So then the contractions are easier to get through. Um, but yeah, praise the Lord, Jesus. So now body stretch naturally. When it's pushing time, you're going to push how you're supposed to push. You're going to stretch how you're supposed to stretch. In Jesus' name. Amen. What? Deleting pictures to make room. Oh. I'm almost done. You just started deleting videos. I'm deleting videos, too. All right, I'm going to take a nap. Doing it just right, and then the doctors come and, come and, and like I said, they take all the glory. So <laughs> mm, that's their job. So, um, like, how do you do a verbal for delayed clamping? Um, do I tell her that, or we always do delayed clamping? Um, it's standard. We do like 60 seconds, which is pretty much all they technically need. If you want it longer than that, then you'll we'll have to like mention it. Um, and then that usually cuts the umbilical cord unless you don't want to. Do you want to cut it? Sure, yeah. Yeah, so we usually offer it to you, but if you, you can do it too if you wanted to. <laughs> yeah, no, so. The leg cord clamping and then skin to skin we do as long as he's, like I said, as long as he's good, he's holding his temperature, he's breathing well, he'll go on to you, your skin immediately. If he needs a little support, he'll go over to the warmer. How soon do we do When he starts showing signs, so they kind of need like an hour to transition from belly to earth side. So within that hour, he might start showing signs like smacking his lips, rubbing his little hand to his mouth. All of that, like I'll coach you through or the nursery nurse will coach you through. Baby, coming soon. How are you feeling, Mama? Shaking? Yeah, um, it's something, it's not like scary. You know, it's just my body regulating. Um, but I pushed and it, it didn't hurt. So hopefully this stays that way. Here's the Lord. Take a look. I met this lady. And she said, when you're pushing, it's like clenching your abs. And that's what that's what I did. Like, that's how you keep, you know, you yeah. clench your abs. And it's working.
Seven, eight, nine, good job. ten. Good job. That's so good. Okay. Good job. Good job. Good job. Oh, did I snap it on you? Oh, good, good, good. Sorry. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Breathe in. Push out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Good. Let's go ahead and take a deep breath in. Bring your butt hard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Exactly the same. Go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Those are so good. Good. Good job, Mama. Rest for your babe now. These are all of our friends. We got Rachel Center and Dr. Wood, okay? This is the birthday party crew. Hello. I think I feel like you slipped down a little bit more. I slipped down a bit. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. 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 Hi